Today we're looking at Barbatine Hunt Cups, colour coated, um, in this country made mostly in the Neen Valley. They colour coated because they have this layer on the outside of them, which is probably a slip, um, almost a glaze, not quite a glaze, and it's been applied at the very end of the process. But I suppose the most important thing about these is the way they are decorated, and the commonest finds are literally hunt cups. They have hair, usually being chased by a couple of dogs going around the, around the pot. And that's been applied by putting liquid clay onto the surface of the pot. It's a technique that's a bit like cake icing, and in one of my other videos you'll see me doing that. So subscribe to the channel and you get to know about these things, all the different processes of Roman pottery making. Um, these usually are found, well, often found in burials. Uh, they are usually interpreted as being beer mugs, wine cups, big wine cup. Um, but the average size is sort of from here up a little bit. And you do get, and in the case of the Colchester Vase, known as the Colchester Vase, it's a ludicrous term, it's a cup. It really is a cup. Um, it's a heck of a cup, one you'd pass around to your mates, I'm sure. But in the case of the Colchester vase, it's huge. And there are some even bigger ones. And if you get yourself along to the Colchester Castle Museum, you can see some truly enormous ones, which uh, maybe they were trophies or something of that nature. Um, this one has the names of gladiators going round the top of it. But they are mostly very masculine, very sort of uh, laddish culture, hunting, gladiators, bear baiting, uh, all that sort of stuff going on. Which makes the one I'm about to talk to you about really quite unusual. It was found at Segedunum Roman Fort. I'm not even talking about that one. Um, it was found at Segedunum Roman Fort. Segedunum, uh, the last fort to the east on Hadrian's Wall at Wall's End, says it all. Um, excavated 1975 to 1984. Uh, if you can get hold of a copy of this, it's very good. Got lots of information in it, not just about the pottery, but about all the other finds. Uh, it comes in two volumes. This is the second volume. I don't think it's in print anymore, but uh, well worth looking at. Um, this cup, excavated on the site, warrants, strangely, really warrants only a little tiny picture on the, on the page, hardly, hardly mentioned, and a little description which tells us that um, it's an extremely unusual decoration, and the only other one that they knew of at that time was from Pakenham in Suffolk, near Bury St Edmunds, but basically in the Neen Valley area because that's where most of the colour-coated ware in Britain was made, Neen Valley. Um, and I, I will talk about in another video about the makeup of the surface colour coating, because I think that's quite important to where these things are found. Subscribe to the channel, you'll get to know. Um, this one is small. It's little. It's, you know, a tiny one. But more importantly, it's got ducks sailing round it. Isn't that delightful? Isn't it lovely? As I say, the only other one with ducks on had a double row of ducks, apparently, from the Pakenham Kilns uh, near Bury St Edmunds. But it is very, very sweet. And it is one of the sort of treasured possessions of the, uh, the fort at uh, Sega Dunham. When one of the staff left a few years ago, I was commissioned to make one as a gift for them going away. Um, there's now one back in their handling collection. And if you pop down to Segedun, you can find one of these. But um, you'll find a few of these on our shop. Go and visit if you want to own a nice little duck cup. But it does look to me like it's probably for a child. Can't be certain of that. But it has the feel of that. You know, Dad's got his hunt cup. Child's got their duck cup. Who knows? Could be. 